Johan, new logo, new shirt, I suppose. It's just sort of something that happens fairly often at clubs, isn't it? Yeah, it's obviously, you know, um, a bold uh, move from the club, but, you know, one that's highly appreciated from myself, you know, that they, you know, willing to invest in the club and, you know, hopefully the fans and, and the young people and the young kids and everybody will love this. I think it's, you know, it's, a, it's exciting new times taking consideration, you know, what uh, the club really wants to, to bring to the to the stadium, you know, the Wi-Fi, the just the, the the experience people can get at the stadium and now an uh, exciting new logo to hopefully bring a new era to, to Gloucester as well, but it stays Gloucester up here and, and therefore, um, you know, the effort that's going to go into the pitch um, and then hopefully we must bring our part and, and put in a, a good performances from next season on the field. Do you get involved in this sort of thing or do you just leave that to the marketing experts and just think, well, I just want to win on the pitch? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it was a far, in, in, you know, process uh, over a long period of time through, through everybody at the club. Um, we as players and as coaches were informed about the possibility, etc. And we, had to, we could have given our opinion, but, um, you know, it wasn't a, a day-to-day thing or a constant invasion of, of our time. We had more, you know, things to think of on the pitch, so therefore it was allowed for, for the club to make that big decisions on the way forward. And, you know, one that we will back and trust 100% that they know they've done their research and know the importance of involving the club and, and getting uh, the future um, in line with what, what the, uh, the, the future holds. Danny Cipriani announced for next season yesterday. How exciting a signing is that? And how long has it taken to, to come about? Because it's, you know, if it sort of was tied into him being in the England squad, it's probably happened quite quickly, hasn't it? Yeah, it happened quickly, and, and, and you know, it's not something we've we've been debating quite a lot. It, it started only like ten days ago, and so, you know, something that we felt we can look at, and, and and you know, I think it's it's obviously that he's an informed ten at the moment. He's playing some great rugby and has been playing for the last number of years, and you know, credit to him not giving up on his dream to play for England and, and, and got the nod there to, to play um, and got selected for that as well. Um, so we're excited, you know, we're excited um, and hopefully, you know, the the quality of rugby that he played for Wasp, uh, we'll see him now in a cherry and white shirt uh, putting it up for us and, you know, I think it's just a great addition. I think, uh, you know, he complements the style that we want to play and also um, he can add through his experience to, uh, to all the players around him, but also to Billy and etc. in that same position. Yeah, I was thinking the brand of rugby you want to play, his style, it should be a perfect fit, shouldn't it? Exactly, and you know, um, I think he's a he's a guy that's constantly looked to challenge himself and to involve into, and, and that's exactly how we want to be as a team. We don't want to be, you know, the same team year, season in and season out, and I think it's good that he will come in with, with some ideas and, and the same with our players that's playing here. You know, we, we constantly challenge our players um, with, with fresh ideas and that will be great, you know, to, to, to have everybody's input. But like you said, you know, you've said it correctly, I think he's, he's, he's a perfect fit for how we want to play. So I can't see him take long to adapt to our style. Speculation about Owen Williams' future or can you or do you need three fly halves? No, I mean, Owen is a professional. He's played test rugby at centre and, um, you know, it gives us a lot of op- uh, opportunities and depth in that position. But also, you know, um, we've lost the likes of Andy Simmons. We lost Matt Scott, etc. So um, it, it, it's it's good to know that we've got Owen that's uh, got the ability to play at 12. It brings in also other dimension to our game. Um, so so the, the fact that, you know, we, you, you look at Wasp at the moment, playing with Jimmy Gopperth and with um, Danny at 10-12 and how well they attack, it just, you know, gives uh, uh, us that luxury as well. So it's good, you know, it's it's challenging. Um, and like I said to the players in my book, um, you know, once the season, the door closed, the, the new season start, everybody's on the same page and the guy who wants to put on the jersey is the one that must show us in the preseason and in the friendlies that he, he earns the jersey. So everybody's on the same sheet. But like I said, you know, the versatility, uh, Matt Bannan coming in, who can play centre wing, um, it, it's going to be crucial. Our squad is smaller and therefore, you know, uh, we will uh, want Owen to challenge as well um, at 10, but also at, at, at 12 as well. You talk about the squad being smaller. There's obviously more who've gone out at the moment than have been signed. 
how many more are you are still looking at trying to get in behind the scenes because presumably work going on frantically there yeah definitely you know um, David is hard at work and, and the club to to still negotiate and talk and finalize some uh, signings with some players um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we we will be in a position where that can happen um, it, it's not a lot left but I mean the, the, as we all know there's still a, a two or three positions we can strengthen and, and like I said it's an ongoing process at the moment